What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the RP series and the open world. So in this episode we will begin to create a little oasis. So we will import the Unreal Water plugin and we will start to make a little lake in our desert. It's going to be a very easy to follow so let's get started. Alright so the first thing that we are going to do is import the water plugin from Unreal. So let's go up into edit go into plugins and down here we can just search for water and you will see it here water is an experimental but it works like perfect so let's go ahead and tick it yes it's an experimental it's okay and let's go ahead and restart the editor all right so you can see the editor has restarted and now we can check that the water plugin is indeed enabled so now i can just close this window and you will see that we have a new message log where we say that well we have an issue with the water collision. So what we need to do is add an entry to the default engine uh, in it. So we can just press this button and it will automatically just uh, you know, add some lines into the game engine configuration and we're good to go. Uh, so now with that said, we can use uh, clear and close and we're good to go. So let's open up, uh, up our actual desert level. So let's go into our levels folder and open up desert. Now in here, you'll see that we have the desert that we made in the last episode, which looks absolutely spectacular. So let's go ahead and quickly find a little spot where we are going to put our oasis. In this case, I think that just over, uh, just over here will work. Okay, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna pick a random spot. As you can see, the player start is right over there. Okay, uh, so it's gonna use more in front of it. All right, so now in order to add a lake what we need to do is go into the quickly add to the price section go into all classes and now with our cursor over the drop down what can you start typing and when i search for water now we have a lot of different options in this case the one that we want is of course water body lake so let's go ahead and just drag it into our landscape and now with that said you can see that it will begin to override the landscape it will just you know start to change a bit of how it works so as you can see now we also have our leg applied and it looks pretty cool but of course we have to you know touch some parameters and move things around so it will actually you know smoothly uh, transition from our landscape because right now it's a very uh, you know noticeable distance uh, as you can see so first of all let's go ahead and just move it uh, a bit up and down and we even can rotate it uh, but better you know we live it like horizontally I'm gonna drop a bit down okay and now I think that the shape looks pretty you know standard I am going to come to go ahead hold alt and make a new point up here and we can just you know play around a bit with the um you know with the size and the shape but overall I'm gonna keep it small simple nothing crazy okay guys so with that said and um, we have to change the parameters over here so we can go into the terrain settings and first of all we can even say it to affect our landscape or not in this case we want because we want to create this um little you know let's say lake um you know shape right so i'm gonna go and open up all of the curve settings and now we can change a bit of the edge offset the channel depth and so on so for example the depth we could change it or the calm a curve round width so instead of the 2000 we could put like 5000 and now you see that um, it will fill in more of our pond which maybe we don't want that so let's go ahead and just put something between 3000 i think will work pretty good and then we can change the channel depth but for now that will be good of course we can disable or enable this but this is for you know the area inside of the lake not outside so now if we go a bit uh into the water high map settings we can uh, change the fall off and this is where it begins so first of all we can change the angle we can put it to 90 degrees you can see we'll finish like that or put it 20 degrees and it will be way more uh, smooth now it's too um you know long so we're gonna change this to be around maybe 35 that's a bit better and then we can change a bit the edge offset if i put this to a lower value as you can see it will be less so that's kind of what we want to play so maybe we could put a low angle and a very um, low offset and we'll start to create this um, better um, you know 
positioning. We can also increase a bit the set offset, so maybe we can put this around 100, and you'll see that it will increase, or the other way around, minus 100, and it will decrease, but of course, then the water will be kind of floating, and it does, <laughs> it doesn't look very good, so let's go and put that to um, zero in this case. But as you can see with this, we can start to play around. We can even put it to two, but of course, it will fill up more of the terrain. That's too much, so I think that maybe um, we can play around with this and just decrease the value here. Now you cannot go very low because if not it will kind of override. So the edge offset has to um, basically play a bit. So I think this should be pretty good. Another thing that we can change a bit of the um, coral lines. So we can add a bit of coral lines to make some uh, shapes more interesting, but just a tiny, tiny bit, okay? As you can see, kind of randomize bit the areas. And we can also just kind of maybe lower it a bit right bring it in more into that side and overall it's great as you can see so cool i think that this lake will be pretty cool we can just save so you can see we have our lake here and of course later on we will be adding all of our palm trees around it so it will look way better right as palm trees and rocks and it will hide that transition even better but of course you can play with the values to get exactly what you want but I'm pretty sure that I like how this looks. If I go and start, you can see at the distance, I can start to see the oasis, which is pretty damn cool. And if I get close and right click and play from here, we can just see it from a better distance and see how this looks, which is awesome. Now, first of all, I am walking on the water. Yes, we need to change the collision, so let's select it, go down until we see the collision settings. And we're gonna go ahead and expand this and make sure it is on custom and then just put visibility to be on ignore and now you see that we should um be able to just go through there we go um but not exactly so uh we are actually gonna go and change everything to be an overlap so go up and instead of custom okay of course with the water selected um instead of uh, toggling individual things we're just gonna put everything to be instead of custom to just be overlap all dynamic and now if I uh, press play from here you will see that the collision is not affected and we can go on the water which is great of course when we implement a simple swimming system eventually which will be pretty soon uh, we'll be able to swim here uh, but of course right now we don't have that yet so we'll have to wait but overall I like how this is looking so what I am going to do now is just leave it for this episode with this little um lake okay and in the next episode we'll begin to import some rocks and maybe even palm trees we'll see and start to place them around okay and uh, with that said we should be ready to go to just make the same process but multiple times across our map and create different oases and eventually lead uh you know to a cooler map we could say and then we'll also start to add our enemy fortress around it right so we'll slowly have some landmarks we're gonna go, go very crazy and okay we're gonna go and keep it simple but it will look very cool so that's it for this video if you found it helpful i would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unreal engine fight throws so check them out remember that the private files are available in my patreon youtube members so check them out join my discord server follow me on my socials and now yes with all i said bye bye